We've now had supply chain analysts and leakers tell us that we should expect three different Apple Watches next year. We've talked about the rugged Apple Watch, and there's fairly little we know about the Series 8, but by far the weirdest one that Mark Gurman has referenced is a refreshed Apple Watch SE. Let's begin. I say that because SEs are typically standing for Special Edition, right? And with the iPhone SE 1st and 2nd Gen, there were four years between those upgrades, so finding out that they already have another Apple Watch SE planned for 2022 feels a little early, you know, considering the SE is barely a year old, they already want to refresh it, and frankly, I don't think there's that much wrong with it. I think the only thing we all want out of the Apple Watch SE is for it to get cheaper in regards to covering the basics of what an Apple Watch can do. It's got a decent size display, it's got the heart rate monitor, it's even got fault detection and a fairly capable S5 chip. Most of the bells and whistles that the Series 7 and 6 had going for them I think deserve to be an upsell. Always on display, yeah, it's kinda helpful, but I can understand why not everybody would need that. Blood oxygen level checking, ECG, yeah, they're technically very impressive, but the number of people that absolutely need that in their watch, sure, I'm fine with Apple upselling people there, but where can the SE go from here exactly? Well, if we look at the iPhone SE lineup, especially given there's supposed to be a third generation SE in March, that's also not that different. SE will typically mean reusing an old design but updating the internals. And we got a spec boost in the Series 6 with the S6 chip, which did allow for some better performance, but I don't think you really noticed that in any watchOS use case. However, the faster charging speed on the S6 and now the S7 is something I could see them improving the SE with, just being like, hey, now you can drop this on a charger and in 20 minutes you'll be ready to, you know, track your sleep with the SE. But the other possibility is that if they are planning a refresh for the SE, maybe there are more features coming to the Series 8 that Apple will feel comfortable upselling people on, therefore they're okay bringing more flagship watch features to the more affordable options. So, for instance, if there's body temperature checking in the Series 8, or even glucose monitoring, or blood pressure monitoring, or any of those rumored health sensor improvements, if they come out on the Series 8, maybe then Apple will be like, okay, you know, we've been mass producing the ECG for a while, it's pretty helpful, or the blood oxygen level sensors, those have actually gotten pretty cheap to manufacture. So let's bring that to the everyday watch, the broke person's watch. Even you will be able to check your blood oxygen levels, or even you will be able to take an ECG for sub $300 on a brand new Apple Watch. Sounds a little weird, kind of distorts the lineup a little bit, but I'm fine as long as Apple gets rid of the Series 3 next year, okay? It really does not need to exist. I'm kind of sick of it, and it should not be sold. Even at $200, it should not be sold in 2022. Maybe they cut the price in half. Okay, 99 bucks for an Apple Watch. Sure, Series 3 is a pretty good value, but in case anyone's already asking if the Series 3 is worth it, nope, stop buying it, get rid of it. Please, Apple, kill this thing off. SE should start at $199. I think that would be, like, the perfect entry-level price for, like, a watch that's still very capable. And because the Series 7 just got its display upgrade, I'd be very shocked if there was already a bigger display on the second generation Apple Watch SE. I feel like the ultra thin bezels on the 7 with the curved display probably should stay as a flagship feature and the display on the SE is good enough to cover the basics. You know, everyday consumers aren't really going to notice or care that much about the bezels. It's probably just too soon to automatically jump on. This is the new standard Apple Watch display. But perhaps with more health sensors and maybe a brighter display or a better chip because the S7 wasn't really a CPU upgrade at all, meaning that the S8 chip we get next year likely will be a bigger improvement in graphics and performance. Maybe all of those upselling features of the Series 8 will make Apple feel more comfortable bringing the always-on display to the SE, but I feel like of all upselling features, that's probably the one that has motivated most people to go with the 7 or the 6, is to just know that the display will be on at all times. So I think manufacturing-wise, it's likely not very complicated for Apple to add it, but they very intentionally left it out on the SE because they thought that would sell much better on a higher price watch. So as much as many of you probably want the always on display to make its way to the SE, I feel like given both the Series 5 and the SE have the same chip, pretty much same battery and displays for the most part, it's just one of them stays always on and one of them doesn't. I don't think it's a technical limitation. I really do think that Apple wants the SE to be missing certain things as to not cannibalize the Series 7 or in this case the Series 8. They also seem to keep colors pretty minimal on the SE lineup, not really giving you much blues or 
or reds to choose from, but overall, I think a spec bump that could include some new health sensors, as well as improve the charging time, is probably perfect for Apple Watch SE territory. It's always just an interesting subject to me because you want to make something better, but you can't make it too good because then it'll cannibalize all the rest. So it's not as easy because if we're just talking about the flagship watch, we can just think of infinite number of things we wish it could do. But this one, you got to find the right balance with in the rest of the lineup. So feel free to let me know what you guys think they should add in the next generation Apple Watch SE. Just keep in mind the price point and the fact that Apple, at the end of the day, they're going to want you to spend more money on a watch if possible. So you can't make it too enticing. This is your Apple Sheep here. I'll see you all in the next one.